Alrighty, folks, I'm now 10-1 in my last 11 Major League Baseball tier package plays on my premium page. We had the Rays yesterday on the run line, and they got the job done for us. And the good news is, folks, I have another Major League Baseball tier package play going off here this evening. And if you sign up for that membership here today, you're going to get access to that package every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, guys, uh, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. Now, I also have a bunch of other different memberships on that site, starting at just $1.99 for 30 days of service. The math works out to be just six cents a day. I currently have over 620 members. We're signed up and active on that premium page right now. And if you want to see the full video, the full slate of MLB picks, uh, like I do here each and every day, uh, that'll be available to chairman members uh, a little bit later in the day. But with that, guys, let's go ahead and uh, handicap a couple of games here on the uh, free page. Uh, Astros, Tigers, 6.40 p.m. East. Houston's a buck 70, totals nine. Frommer Valdez for Houston. Matt Manning for Detroit. Now, Manning comes into today's contest with an ERA of 4.31. Now, the Tigers have also been one of the worst run-producing lineups in the American League. They're actually scoring fewer runs per contest than any other squad in the AL Central. They're going to have to take on lefty Frommer Valdez, who's just one win shy of double digits. He's also punched out 153 batters, and he has a 1.13 whip. Now, hitting-wise, the Strohs really have turned it up. Uh, he, they've turned it on in the second half. Uh... Houston's a top five run producing lineup on the road. Kyle Tucker's got 134 hits on the year, second most RBI in the majors. Meanwhile, Jordan Alvarez and Jose Altuve, uh, they have an OPS average in the 900s. Kessinger is still out for Houston. Baez is questionable for Detroit. The Tigers saw their last three at Comerica Park get over the total. Meanwhile, Houston's gone eight and two to the over in their last 10. Give me the Astros minus a buck 70 over nine. Next matchup, Yankees Rays, 640 p.m. East. Tampa Bay is minus a buck 30, total seven. Zach Eflin for Tampa Bay, Garrett Cole for New York. And as good as Cole's been this year, well, the Bombers just don't want to win for the guy. New York's taken the loss in four out of their last five Garrett Cole starts. And out of 39 contests against the AL East this year, the Yankees have gotten the W only 15 times, really uh, struggling against divisional competition. Uh, now, moving on here, the biggest issue for New York has been their offensive production, or lack thereof, how, uh, however you want to look at that. Uh, these guys have fewer hits a game than any other lineup besides Oakland. And, of course, they're facing a 13-win Zach Eflin here today, who's got 136 strikeouts and a 1.03 whip. And even if Eflin struggles, uh, the Rays certainly have little issue rounding the bases. These guys are a top three run-producing lineup in the American League. Yandy Diaz has the fifth highest batting average in the majors, eighth highest OPS. Meanwhile, Isak Paredes has the most RBI on the roster. Margot and Walls are still out for Tampa. Rizzo and McKinney are inactive for New York. Seven out of the Bombers' last ten ball games did get over the total. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay went 7 3 to the over in their last 10. Give me the Rays minus a buck 30 over 7. Next matchup. Uh, I think that's our, yeah, that's our next and final matchup for the uh, for the free site. Uh, it's going to be between the Nationals Marlins, 6 40 p.m. East. Miami's uh, minus 205, totals eight runs. Braxton Garrett for the Marlins. Joanna Adon for Washington. And out of just 18 innings of work this year, uh, Adone's got an ERA in the sevens. And these Nationals pitchers, they really do tend to struggle on the road. They're in the bottom three and hits allowed per game while traveling. They're facing a Miami club who has little issue getting base runners, especially at Lone Depot Park. These guys are a top five hit producing lineup at home. Luis Arias has the highest batting average in the majors. Jorge Soler's got the seventh most home runs. And even if the fish struggle at the plate, they do have lefty Braxton Garrett on the hill, and he's been solid. Garrett's got 132 strikeouts and a 1.17 whip. 
Now, Garcia is still out for Miami. Ruiz is questionable for Washington. The Nats went 60% to the over in their last 10 ball games. Miami saw three out of their last four home games get over the total themselves. Give them the Marlins minus one and a half over eight. Now that, folks, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on my premium page. Now, guys, if you do end up getting a membership here today on patreon.com slash Brock Page, just keep in mind you're going to get access to that membership every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, guys, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. And once again, guys, the full slate, my MLB pick video, the full slate, uh, will be available to chairman members uh, in the next uh, couple of hours or so. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that, folks, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.